Global monitors have found that China and India continue buying massive volumes of subsidized Russian oil, even as Western nations tighten sanctions. Analysts warn this revenue boosts Russia's military budget and helps sustain its war machine in Ukraine, highlighting how sanctioned trade flows are fueling geopolitical conflict. Pakistan Navy personnel were recently honored by the Vice Chief of Naval Staff for Exceptional Service in Technical Innovation, Submarine Operations, and Cyber Warfare Integration. These awards reflect a growing focus on modern naval warfare, automation, and ISR capabilities across the fleet. A silent evolution under the surface. In a rare but strategic move, France has signaled willingness to pursue joint defense technology ventures with Pakistan. Industry insiders hint at cooperation in electronic warfare systems and advanced radar components, possibly even maritime surveillance platforms. A quiet alliance with powerful implications. Pakistan has revived its R-440 missile launcher drive assembly, a key component for long-range surface-to-air missile systems. Analysts suggest this could mark the beginning of a SAM network upgrade program aiming at multi-target tracking, layered interception, and integration with indigenous radar chips. You're watching PacGeo Defense Updates. Get your trusted updates, not hype. Subscribe now. India has begun upgrading its Sukhoi 30 MKI fleet with advanced AESA radars and CAD suppression of enemy air defenses capabilities. This moves the IAF closer to modern fifth gen air power roles. The new radar systems improve multi target tracking, ECM resistance, and deep strike support. Paired with anti radiation missiles, these aircraft now pose a serious threat to Pakistan's radar sites and integrated air defenses. But the question remains. How will Pakistan adapt its JF-17 and SAM network against these new electronic warfare threats? Strategists are quietly revisiting Pakistan's readiness for a two-front conflict against India in the east and the Tehrik-e-Taliban-Pakistan TTP threat from the northwest. While conventional forces are structured for India, internal hybrid threats drain resources. Pakistan's recent focus on drone ISR terrain mapping satellites, and quick response brigades hints at adaptation. But questions remain. Can Pakistan's defense logistics and morale handle synchronized pressure from both borders without external aid? Behind closed doors, NESCOM is emerging as Pakistan's silent leader in AI-powered weapons. From smart munitions and loitering drones to battlefield analytics and automated command centers, NESCOM's AI projects integrate neural networks with local radar and ECM systems. The goal? Autonomous target recognition, adaptive jamming, and AI-enabled kill chains. While rivals look at flashy hardware, Pakistan seems to be playing the software game. The results? Possibly a leapfrog in low-cost, high-tech deterrence. In a wartime scenario, can Pakistan's navy realistically choke India's vital oil routes? Most of India's energy imports sail near the Makran coast and the Strait of Hormuz. With upgraded Type 039A submarines, Harba missiles, and potential Chinese ISR support, Pakistan has tools for selective disruption. However, achieving sustained blockade needs layered denial systems, like UUVs, decoy nets, and satellite recon. A full blockade may be unlikely, but targeted strikes on key tankers? Entirely within reach. With its nuclear arsenal, battle-tested army, and expanding ties to Turkey, Saudi Arabia, and the Gulf, Pakistan is uniquely positioned to lead a potential Muslim defense alliance. The Islamic Military Counterterrorism Coalition, IMCTC, already has Pakistani leadership in Riyadh. But what if the role expands, joint drone programs with Turkey, naval drills with Oman, and base sharing with Qatar? For many, Pakistan is more than a participant it could become the spine of Muslim defense diplomacy. As BRICS expands to include Iran, Egypt, and Saudi Arabia, Pakistan finds itself geopolitically closer to a bloc outside Western dominance. While not a member, Pakistan could benefit via shared military tech through China, energy logistics from Russia, and defense pacts with Gulf partners. This could reduce dependency on Western platforms and financing, giving Pakistan more flexibility in multipolar military diplomacy. Could BRICS Plus be Pakistan's doorway to a post-NATO world? Pakistan is quietly transforming select special economic zones under CPEC into dual-use defense industrial hubs. 
These zones in Punjab and Balochistan now host drone manufacturing units, electronics assembly lines, and joint R&D setups with China and Turkey. The model mirrors how China used civilian zones for defense innovation. With tax incentives, protected IP laws, and low-cost skilled labor, these clusters could empower Pakistan to indigenize sensors, electronics, and precision systems within a decade. Pakistan be quietly expanding its defense influence into North Africa, recent high-level interactions between Pakistan and Libya's eastern commander, Lutat Gen Saddam Haftar, suggest a growing military partnership. With Libya rebuilding its armed forces, Pakistan's expertise in training and low-cost drone production may be exactly what Haftar is looking for. From tactical advisors to surveillance UAVs, Pakistan has both the experience and capability. But will this cooperation spark international concerns, especially from NATO members? As alliances shift, Pakistan's defense outreach in Libya could reshape regional dynamics and open a new chapter in bilateral military relations. So what do you think? Drop your reply to today's question.